going to do a, a review of the 8-bit dough SN30 retro set here. It's the SN30 gamepad. This is the wireless version, Bluetooth version. 8-bit dough retro set here. Play original systems wirelessly. In other words, Super Nintendo. There's the box. It comes with the retro receiver. You can buy these with or without the receiver, that way you can choose which receiver you want. Uh, the retro receiver works with Super Nintendo only. Um, that's why I bought this uh, set. So it'll work with Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. And some clone systems, I will be trying it out on the analog Super NT sometime today. Maybe I'll show some gameplay footage of that. Um, so yeah, you can also buy a separate receiver. Um, to plug in uh, USB and play wirelessly with your Nintendo Switch or other t console or even PC. So here's the Super Famicom inspired colors here or version of the 8-bit Doe gamepad here. Can't really read that. But yeah, the Bluetooth Super Famicom colors here. The buttons are color-coded the same. Very nice controller, good weight to it. Here's the back. Good weight. D-pad is very nice. I've not felt a D-pad that nice ever. Buttons are nice and clicky, nice and firm. It's actually trying to turn or turning on and trying to send a signal to the receiver. Um, but yeah, just solid buttons here. Some people complained about the D-pad uh, actually not working correctly, not doing diagonals right, or uh, some kind of moves with fighting games. And I did test that out. I decided to test this with uh, Zelda and a few racing games, uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbor, that does require some moving around. Um, what fighting game did I play? I forget which one it was, but uh, got my butt handed to me. I think it was Brawl Brothers? Yeah, probably. No, it was... Uh, Final Fury or, or something. Um, so yeah, I mean, I will be buying another one of these, the regular Super Nintendo version of this controller with the, you know, purple colors and concave uh, buttons. I think these are the ones that are concave on that version. In order to play Super Nintendo games on my Switch, Switch since Super Nintendo games have just launched on the Nintendo Switch Online service, so that's very exciting. They don't have some of the games that I really enjoy on there, but there's have a few games that I have not played um, at all or in a long time. So that'll be really cool to resubscribe, and I will be doing that within a week or two. That way I can enjoy those games. Mainly going to play them mobily because I, uh, in the mobile mode for the Switch because I have not played those games, uh, many of them, in that mode. Um, the only Super Nintendo games I have played on a mobile device is the Game Boy Advance version of Super Mario World and Zelda A Link to the Past. That's it. I mean, I just want to be able to, you know, play it wherever I'm at, whether it be I'm out of town on vacation or, you know, out and about on the town or something or at a hotel. I want to be able to have those games readily available at my fingertips when I want to play them. And then that new Switch Online service provides that, and I'm very thankful for that. And that comes with your online subscription. You can play the games for, uh, at no additional charge. So I'll be doing that. Um, but this guy will be solely for playing games on my Super Nintendo and Super NT console. Um, so that's very exciting. I was very thrilled to use this controller to play old games. Uh, I actually played mostly the uh, playing most of my retro stuff on flashcards now. Actually, and I'm very surprised that I was doing that. Decided to go that route mainly to save money and for convenience. It's not to rip people off. Um, but yeah, this is a very solid control. I was very pleased with it. The uh, like I was saying, the D-pad works just fine. I had no issues with it whatsoever. I tested that. I was a little concerned when I ordered this and I got a little bit of a discount on it uh, due to getting some cash back, so I did not pay full price. But yeah, I mean, I highly recommend buying one of these if you're going to use this for your, you know, retro pie or use on your Super NT, or Clone Console, or Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo Junior, um, or 
on your PC rather. Uh, this also comes with a charging cord. I think it's Type C USB cable here. Nice long cable, probably about eight feet, seven to eight feet. So yeah, you can I think plug it in and use it wired in wired mode for the Switch. Um, I have not tested this out on the Switches. This controller is just exclusively going to be used for. Here, it's still trying to communicate with the receiver. There's the USB-C uh, connection there. Shoulder buttons. Everything just feels great on this controller. I was thoroughly pleased with it. So that's why I'm going to buy another one to use on the Switch. Um, and I may buy the um, Mega Drive controller or Sega Genesis controller made by 8 to play my Sega Genesis games wirelessly when playing them on the Analog Mega SG or my one of my two Model 1 Sega Genesis. So yeah, and I'll review those controllers at a later date. But yeah, pick up one of these if you're into retro gaming. Highly recommend it. Thank you very much for watching.